What's going on guys, Kaiga here. We already did Urza and Natsu on the channel. Now we're going to do a review and testing for Wendy. Let's get into it. So as a reminder, you get one copy of her using the J coins in the event shop. You have to be level 50 to unlock all the event stuff. And if once you unlock her, she'll be in your bag. You have to actually go in the bag, click her face, and then it'll uh, make a copy of her. And you get extra copies by pulling on the Natsu banner or getting other uh, 60 shards of the green um, stones. Now her basic doesn't do anything special here. Talking about her base stats over here, kind of low in comparison uh, to other SSRs, uh, especially the uh, wind ones. Down here we have HP, crit, break, and block. So actually pretty decent stats for these bottom three HPs, kind of whatever. Doesn't help us very much. Her passive, which is where the HP comes into play, Activates when you swap you don't have to you can either swap to her or from her But it triggers every 30 seconds as we see and it'll give you 2% attack 2% defense and Heal over time to uh, 0.2% of your max HP Every second for six seconds scaling all the way up to 16% attack 16% defense and 1.6% per second HP regeneration per second for six seconds now this scales on top of the attack here and defense here scales on top of the wind uh, echo which also gives you percent attack and defense so we have a lot of stacking percentiles with her do sequest uh, passive and then we have her active Dragon Slayer Secret Art Shattering Light Sky Drill. Uh, very, very slow skill that we'll see in a minute. Manipulates the air, uh, the air with a certain range. Large wind barrier then compresses barrier into a vortex. Hitting the target, dealing damage. Uh, applies vulnerable to wind for 6 seconds. Ineffective against players, so it's PvE only. 10% uh, of damage dealt will be healing you. So this is her whole thing even in the show. Uh, her wind deals damage and heals. Uh, and if we see the scaling, just more damage. No extra effects when we scale up. Really feeling like an SR fairy instead of an SSR in all aspects. Now I have uh, gameplay over here that I'll show you in just a second. But first I want to talk about the pat the ability itself. So the ability giving them weakness to wind. We've seen that in both. Uh, well we've seen giving weakness to an element in fire. But the thing that she's having an issue with is she also doesn't increase the damage. As an example, the weakest version of that would be Marigold. Her ability uh, gives you 30% more damage against things weak to earth. But we don't have anything that gives earth weakness as an example. Now for fire, we have Winter Cherry that has uh, flame ability, which makes them weak to fire, but also flame amplification, which makes them take 30% more. It's literally both effects. The arrow spray right here, 30% more, as well as 
uh, what she has down here, uh, weakness to wind. It's just, they're all three SSR fairies. You can make the argument that Marigold should be just what she is right now, just because she's a Gen 2 fairy and she's free to play. But Wendy down here really should give us that 30% bonus damage in PvE. Right now, just giving the weakness isn't very, very huge. What you can do is you can, uh, right now, what a lot of people have been doing is in Guild Boss, uh, you have the time during its weakness to hit it with fairies of that element, right? Let's say it's Earth Day. You hit them with all your Earth ones, and then when it does the countdown, you can uh, have people swap between Winter Cherries, giving it Fire Weakness during that time and the 30% increase. And the thing is, uh, during this downtime, if, you, if your group has enough Winter Cherries, you can have 100% uptime of either dealing the extra damage, like I said, let's say it's Wind Elemental Boss, uh, sorry, uh, let's say it's Earth Elemental. Uh, you have plenty of time to do all your Earth Fairies and then swap and have people do different Winter Cherries and always have a damage up on the boss. What Wendy does is she allows you to do the same thing but for the free-to-play players because uh, one copy is enough to do this but it's still way less damage because it's just giving it weakness which... Uh, weakness in, in itself gives you bonus damage, but I really would have liked to see that bonus 30%, even if it was down here at level 5 bonus, which is pretty common for things like this. My biggest gripe with Wendy. Now, showing you her basic attack. Put down the boss. Check out the basic. Boom, she does a whip that kind of hits this entire area right here where my cursor is. Uh, that's go actually going to be very good if she's in the middle spot of, let's say, uh, what's it called? Um, flower Garden. She'll be able to hit all three units with her swing, with her basic attack. Now, checking out her ability... Uh, that's the screenshot. Alright, so everything had a wind weakness today, so I had to go here and pick a, a water here. So it's going to be weak to water. I'm going to pick a random one so I have no extra bonuses. Showing you it's weak to water. Throw her out. Look at, she does this big wind up. She pulls the wind onto her, and then she pulls in her hand and does like a Kamehameha of the wind. Boom, see, come in. <laughs> and then, boom, wind weakness. Now, as we see over here, screenshot of the wind weakness. It lasts for six seconds. So, really, you'll have enough time. You see, I paired her with Dandelion. Dandelion remembers the last element you used, uh, which wind, I believe, gives pierce rate. So, you'll be able to uh, windy give wind weakness uh, dandelion hit them at the same time because by the time the command may lands to give the wind weakness dandelion will hit doing that bonus damage for the entirety of that time uh, doing a bunch of damage in PvE and like I said uh, she's really not going to do anything in PvP uh, almost at all just because like Maybe uh, you can use her as a swap to get some heal over time, but even at max, that's 1.2 times 6, uh, what's that, 7.2% max HP uh, back as a heal uh, for a swap, and you're locked into her for 5 seconds, not really good, her basic is the same as everyone else. Uh, it's really the active in PvE specifically giving things wind weakness. If you are a spender, you're naturally going to go Winter Cherry regardless, because that does fire weakness and fire amplification. It would have been really nice if wind had that 
for Wendy to have that uh, amplification. Let me know what you guys think down below. Till next time, guys.